I can't quite believe I'm saying this, but I've been teaching for 30 years, but running courses at the CY Studio for 15 years. And uh, it's been one of the best things that's ever happened to me. It's a huge space to work in. Um, and we've run so many successful and exciting courses there over those years. Not only have I got my incredible team of tutors who are brilliant artists, I also have uh, Jane Nash, who's my administrator and does all the social media, and Angie Hunter, who does all the other administration and bookings. On top of that, you've got Sea Whites themselves, who are not just my landlord, they are my landlord, but uh, they support me hugely, they encourage us with what we do at the studio, but I also collaborate with them as well. In March 2020, everything stopped. Uh, life as we knew it abruptly changed and for the Sea White studio there was the potential that that would be it. That would be the end of the studio as I knew it. So with many sleepless nights after the close down of everything I talked to my husband and summoned up all my courage because it was not what I wanted to do and I said to him right we're going to have a go at going online. I can't let the business stop. I really surprisingly enjoy teaching online. It's a totally different experience from teaching face to face. I love being in my own space. It means that I walk from the back of my kitchen down the garden to my studio. I'm very fortunate to have a studio here. I think the benefits for the students seeing me work in my own studio is I suppose they're seeing me as, as a painter, not the teacher. So I'm using my materials. They're asking questions about the, the materials I've got on my palette, the way I'm setting things up, even you know my lovely big trolley that Luke built for me. Um, there, there's a kind of truth about it, I suppose. And perhaps I, I do behave differently in my own space as well. An ambition I have with teaching is to try and be as clear as possible all of the time. Um, teaching online has really emphasized that a lot. My preparation for a course is very different. You're trying to condense a lot of content into a smaller amount of time. So it's not just the time they're spending with you on the course live, it's also you're preparing them for the rest of the day when they continue to work in their own studio. So the detail is, is really, really paramount with everything I'm doing. I'm almost doing a painting from beginning to end. And I, and I was tentative at the beginning of doing online courses, but now I fully embrace it. I would actually talk out loud about every single decision and move I was making on a painting. And uh, all the students who were involved in the course absolutely said that was wonderful to sort of be looking over my shoulder, showing everybody the way I scrubbed, rubbed, put brush marks on, why I did it, why I changed things, really showing them the inside workings, you know, of my brain and paintings in a very different way from teaching face to face. I confessed on camera and I said, you know, I have as I have equal measures of joy with painting and despair with painting, you know, and I'm going to take you through what happens, why, how you deal with it. People really appreciated not only the honesty of it, but that's the, that's the fact of the matter. When you're making work, being creative, it does. it's not a formula. It doesn't flow always as you want, but the changes that you make and the way you adapt it, that's where the creativity is. So, yeah, people are able to see that, you know, live on camera, which is, yeah, extraordinary. So when you sign up for the course, uh, you've got this... PDF file, this document, you can see where I've written in very fine detail, everything you're going to need, what you're going to do, what the timetable is. And it requires the student to actually go into their studio space, whatever size, whatever shape, garage, shed, whatever it is, and prepare it. So they have to organize their space, think about the quality of light, have all their materials ready. And I think lots of students have fed back to me that it was even wonderful just doing that process. They thoroughly enjoyed being in their own studio. That was terrific. They had to go to their studio. They committed the time to be there. And because they, I couldn't interact with them necessarily one by one, they just had to kind of respond and, and work alongside me. They could ask questions, but essentially they had to listen to their own dialogue. So the fact that I was talking out loud about the decisions I was making as I was making them and talking to them and encouraging them, them to think, well, what would you do? What If you change that, what would colour would you choose and why? Um, meant that 
I sort of got them up and running. And then we came to an end. I said, right, have a fantastic afternoon. Here are the things I suggest you do. Carry on practicing what we've done this morning. They're left with their own thoughts. They've got a momentum going, but it's important to have that dialogue with yourself when you're working as an artist. Um, to be honest, that's when you do most of your learning. At the end of each working day, we ask students to email two images, just two, because if we have 10, it becomes unwieldy. Um, to us, and then we have an online gallery which is on the um, the actual website that we have for Sea Whites. And you can see how everybody else has responded during the day. It's also really helpful for me because if I can see that it hasn't been understood or something new and better has happened, I then adapt what happens in the next Zoom session. So it's very much still very much interactive. And then at the end, the very end of the course, what I've been doing is, um, looking at everybody's work really closely and sitting down and writing to each student and giving them feedback about what they've done, noticing the strengths in their work and making some suggestions about how they can move forward. We provide each student, if they would like, with a link and that means they can re-watch the morning session which is a real boon and we allow that for up to 30 days so it means that you can actually pace it how you want. So there is that aspect, which I, I think is extraordinary. I think that's a really, really big asset for the students. So I think the online way of teaching is definitely going to continue, but we have also um, opened the studio up again. And that's brought me a lot of joy, I have to say, because I've missed it. And Simon Carter is teaching the experimental observation drawing course. And we have restricted the numbers down to six in the studio and spaced it out. Everybody has fantastically generous spaces. I think they're all loving having so much space. So that's really, really good. And enjoying being back in the studio and, and working with other people. I'm going to continue to do that. There are monthly courses. There is the painting group and the creative painting space group. The students email me 12 images of their work that they're currently doing and a piece of writing. And we can prepare, I say we, because Julian Brown is going to be helping me with this as well. Um, we can do very, very um, selective ways of giving talks and help to individuals as well. We have more online courses in the pipeline, um, which we have on our website. And more of the tutors are sort of coming back into the fold, which is great. So Katie Solahub will be teaching, working on a very large scale, working with the breath, meditation, yeah, really expressively, which will be superb. She and I are also going to teach together, which is going to be a joy because we love working together. And we are teaching the Autumn Trees course in the studio. So I can make the use of uh, the huge space we have and use it like a backdrop, amazing stage set to live stream exciting projects to people. Um, another course, which is very close to my heart, is uh, called The Cloth Figure, Drawing and Painting The Cloth Figure, where I will be, um, again, demonstrating and drawing and painting my daughter uh, in full costume, which will be so exciting. And a colour course is happening as well. So there's a lot, there's a lot of courses, uh, both live and pre-recorded. Just this week, um, Noah Carter, very important member of our team. Um, he has been pre-recording with Nick Bodymead. Nick, I know, has been working very hard preparing props, and I think he's thoroughly enjoyed doing it too. And also Joe Packer. And Joe Packer um, came to give a talk at the studio last December, which we loved. Last year or the year before, I think it was, he was winner of the British Contemporary Painting Prize. And he is a superb painter and a very nice man. So he's been having a course pre-recorded as well. So there's a lot, a lot of lovely things happening. And I feel that we're all really excited about the future in actual fact. Um, it's changed it, yes, but I think it's refreshed it. And I think that we will continue to find new ways of working online, working face-to-face, -face, using our immediate environments in perhaps ways we hadn't thought of before, um, being more resourceful, being more inventive. And very, very importantly, um, I think it's reinforced the community of artists rather than made us feel more isolated. I think actually it's it's given us new life. It's given us more reason to work and more reason to stay in touch and inspire each other. Thank you.